de los caficultores de Colombia es un misterio de que... Well, for no one, not even for the Colombian coffee growers, it is a mystery that the market has been managed by intermediaries. Intermediario no copia o no es solidario con el que produce. Many times, the intermediary does not copy or is not supportive of those who produce. They try to defend their business, which is logical, normal. So, a little tired of being at the mercy of middlemen's prices, we made the decision to unite our coffee in one place and market it in volume on our own. Por nuestra propia cuenta. Bueno, eh, las 1,500 familias somos de muy pequeños productores. We are 1,500 families of which we are very small producers. Whoever owns the most land owns around one and a half hectares. Therefore, we are small producers. For this reason, we certify ourselves and make ourselves seen before Colombia and the world as small producers through a certification called SPP for its acronym in English. Entonces, eh, encontramos la posibilidad de, de participar en el ejercicio comercial. We found the possibility of participating in the commercial exercise in 2001. We have been a little more than 20 years accumulating some experience and learning. Entonces, primero, acopiamos el café en un solo lugar. Luego de eso, miramos de que... First, we collected the coffee in one place. After that, we saw that we were able to buy some machines so that we could process it ourselves. So we bought the machines to thresh the coffee so we could export it. Poderlo exportar. Y luego fundamos también una, una firma exportadora de, de nuestra misma propiedad. We then founded an exporting firm that we owned so that through that exporting company we could reach the United States and Europe with our coffee. Estamos buscando los mercados asiáticos, pues para que, para, pues tratando de mejorar un poco las condiciones de vida. De... Now, we are looking for Asian markets to slightly improve the living conditions of those of us who participate in the cooperative. Calca coffee is unique for the following reasons. Our department has a great diversity of climates. Where we have mountain areas, there are cold climates, medium climates, and slightly warmer climates. That is one of the characteristics. Regarding coffee production, the Department of Calca, specifically the cooperatives, are from the high areas of the municipalities that are towards the south of the department. The issue of the mountains is also greatly influenced by being close to several volcanoes and all those nutrients from the rocks make Calca coffee the difference. La diferencia. Otro es porque la mayoría de productores son pequeños productores. Another characteristic refers to the fact that the majority of producers are small producers and their harvesting is completely manual. That is, it is traditional and artisanal. They are small crops. Therefore, the harvest and post-harvest process is more careful. That is reflected in a cup of coffee from our organizations and in general from the cooperative and from all these organizations that are associated with co -Sercier. Our coffee is characterized by having chocolatey notes. There are very balanced coffees with honey notes, very floral. And as I told you, Cauca coffee has different thermal levels that makes its flavors stand out. We have coffees from very fruity areas and that are quite different from other coffees in our country. De nuestro país. Nosotros nos agremiamos 1,500 familias. Esos son los que estamos trabajando juntos hasta el momento. We are 1,500 member families. We are working together. We have been doing great work for just over 25 years, where we have been uniting the efforts of each of the families. In these 25 years, we have learned to give ourselves a little autonomy and freedom. Y entonces trabajamos, primero que todo el café, en el 100% de las familias, we work first of all with coffee. In 100% of the families we have coffee growing. We are traditional coffee growers. Our grandparents were coffee growers. Y nosotros esta generación también somos caficultores y estamos tratando de enseñarle a nuestros hijos que cuiden eh, este gremio. Our parents were coffee growers and so are we. This generation is coffee growers. We are trying to teach our children that they should take care of this guild. In Calca we are 95,000 families. We are 1,500, 
who decided to unite to be able to have the complete chain. With the complete chain I mean that we traditionally cultivate but we had never stopped to think that we are also capable of marketing, industrializing and create a solidarity economy that benefits us as producers. Una economía solidaria que nos beneficia a nosotros como productores, pero también que beneficia a los que consumen. Entonces, para, nos, para nuestro trabajo... But also benefits those who consume. For our work, it is just as important to be well as producers. But it is equally important that consumers are well. So that is a little work that we do. Since we are talking about the coffee quality process, I would like to invite you to see what the cupping process we carry out in our cooperative is like. After receiving the reception at the entrance of the winery, we verify where the coffee comes from, we move on to the next step, which is measuring the humidity of the parchment. La cantidad, este es un medidor automático. Eh. As for the quantity, we use this automatic meter, which tells us what the quantity is of coffee we use. La medición de humedad se debe hacer para determinar en qué, en qué porcentaje de humedad viene el café. The humidity measurement must be done to determine what percentage of humidity the coffee comes in. Because if it comes above the norm, we must make the corresponding corrections. The next step is to take a sample of 250 grams to calculate the coffee yield factor. El factor de rendimiento del café. Ahí podemos determinar eh, cómo viene el café. There we can determine how the coffee comes in terms of physical bean yield. Then we prepare the weighing scale. We proceed to mix the sample until it is homogeneous and we take 250 grams. Y tomamos 250 grams. After taking the humidity of the parchment sample, I am going to identify it to give you the respective code. This would be code 203. The initial humidity is 13 to 4. We proceed to thresh the 250 grams with a manual thresher, without allowing it to no grain falls or is going to be lost because that will influence the calculation of the factor. We secure with this hammer. Retiramos. Igualmente no se puede dejar caer un solo grano. We remove. You cannot drop a single grain anyway. We collect the sample. Y se procede a tamizar. And we proceed to sift in this monitor or sieve as it is popularly called. But we must take into account one detail, and that is that the coffee is above the humidity parameters, so we are only going to sift it on the 14 mesh. Por su calibre, su número, entonces... Then these meshes are identified by their caliber or number. The top one is 15, 14 and 0 mesh. Each mesh comes with a specific sieve. 
se queda el grano más, más grande, más grueso. With the 15, the bean is larger and thicker. The 14, likewise, this depends on the bean size levels. As the coffee comes wet, I will only sift it on the 14 mesh. What remains from there onwards is a product that would not be exported due to its size. Luego de tamizar, recogemos. After sifting, we collect what is left of each mesh. In this case, mesh 14. No se, no se nos puede embolatar un grano. We cannot lose a grain because that will alter the sample factor. factor de la muestra. Verificar que no se nos quede un grano en las mallas. It is necessary to verify that not a single grain is left in the meshes to be able to carry out the very precise calculation. Entonces vamos a llevar la muestra para hacer su respectiva selección de defectos. We are going to take the sample to make their respective selections of defects and to be able to do the factor calculation. La selección de los granos defectuosos. We bring the sample and proceed to do the selection of defective beans to determine the coffee yield factor. Entonces retiramos. We remove the beans with defects to be able to make the calculation and then proceed to roasting. Pasará a tostión. Eh, bueno, los cafés orgánicos. Eh, su, su valor agregado es precisamente porque es... Eh, well, the added value of organic coffee is precisely because it is produced under ecological standards, first for the health care of the consumer. También, eh, no solamente es eh, para, la, para la salud de las personas que lo consumen. And second, because it not only helps the health of the people who consume it, but also because of the care that is given to it, to the environment. They are certified farms and they comply with a series of commitments and requirements to have their organic certification. So that is the differentiation or added value. After doing the classification of defects, I now have the healthy excelso. We proceed to weigh the excelso that we were healthy enough to do the performance calculation. Bueno, entonces en este paso, eh, luego de, de hacer la selección de defecto y obtener el grano excelso. In this step, after making the defect selection and obtaining the healthy excelso grain, we take the humidity in excelso again because this is already the definitive humidity that the sample will give us. Esta es la humedad definitiva. We go back to the humidity meter. This is the humidity definitive. So the final humidity of the Excelso coffee marks 13.58%. This is already the final humidity that I have left from the sample. So we proceed to weigh the sample to calculate the yield factor. Estos 110 gramos son los que vamos a llevar. These 110 grams are what we are going to take to roast and do the rate test, which is like the final evaluation of the coffee. We preheat the roasting machine. Inicialmente, la tostadora de... Vamos a ingresar a 185. We are going to enter the bean at about 185 or 200 degrees Celsius, and we are going to roast it for a period of 9 to 10 minutes. Y 
actualmente no se nos puede caer un grano porque pues nos, eso hace parte del, de la metodología. Likewise, we cannot drop a grain because it is part of the methodology. We take time with the stopwatch and proceed to enter the sample. Bueno, aquí ya tenemos la muestra tostada. Eh... Here we already have the roasted sample. The methodology is to let it to gas from one day to the next and I have up to the second day after roasting to do the cupping test. Here we have a sample that has already rested. We are going to proceed to do the cup test. This is an 83.5 coffee. It meets the export parameters. We proceed to give the order for the threshing process and subsequently its export. El café orgánico, pues desde que desde el proceso que viene desde la finca. Since organic coffee comes from the farm, several factors must be considered. Es, eh, o sea, toda la maquinaria uno tiene antes de iniciar un proceso o se hace... Such as the machinery and the corresponding cleaning to avoid any type of contamination with other types of grain. On the other hand, the grain is packed in a Grempro bag which protects it from more or less a year and protects it just as the grain is packaged. Un año, un trabajo, sí, pero más o menos un año y lo, lo que lo protege tal como se empaca el grano. Tanto de humedad como lo previene de sabores o de protecting it from humidity as well as from foreign odors or flavors that may reach it to contaminate. Once the cars arrive with the respective shipment, we proceed to unload. They are identified on the shipment if they are organic or if they are conventional. We proceed to weigh and once the coffee is weighed, a sample is taken that goes to the laboratory and from there it is assembled the parchment coffee. Una vez que ya se tiene... Once you have a complete batch, that is, 650 to 700 packages of parchment coffee. If the threshing authorization is already in place, then we proceed to empty the coffee through threshing. In the threshing process there are five processes those made in coffee. The first process is the cleaning of the parchment grain, which are impurities, metals and stones. Then we proceed to the second step which is the mill. El molino que se encarga de por fricción eh descascarar el café. Which through friction is responsible for hulling the coffee. Then it goes to the almond monitor that is responsible for separating it by grain size. This is done from the largest grain to the smallest grain once again. Procedemos a pasar el café por la ensimétrica o o estiles. We proceed to pass the coffee through the symmetrical or style that is responsible for separating the grain by weight then. The lighter grain remains as a byproduct and the heavier grain becomes fine grain. En, por último paso, eh, que es ya separarlo por color. Eh, hay una máquina. The last step, which is separation by color, is a machine that is already computerized by means of cameras. Separa grano de color blanco, color negro, de color. It takes the photograph and proceeds to separate the colored grains. It separates white, black, and red grains, and also points of bit, and we achieve part aisles. Once this process is done, we proceed to pack it in the respective bags of Excelso, where the kilo age already goes for 70 kilos. However, those that are micro lots go for 50 or 45 kilos. This depends of the client's requirements. Once the top is sewn, we proceed to pack them. Then we proceed to wait for the loading order to be dispatched. El 
mejor café que producimos nosotros como cooperativa lo colocamos para que cualquier persona, cualquier vecino... We place the best coffee that we produce as a cooperative so that anyone, any neighbor, can taste it. And with our team we taught a lot how to drink coffee. Coffee is drunk without sugar. They taught us to drink coffee with sugar trying to mask a little the bad flavors of the regular coffee that is sometimes drunk in Colombia. Nosotros enseñamos a tomar el café sin azúcar para poder saborear eh, el, el verdadero gusto. So we teach you to drink coffee without sugar to be able to savor the true taste of coffee. Therefore, we have two lines. One of those is a little strong for people who have become accustomed to drinking a slightly strong coffee. But we have a line soft which is just as it is consumed in the United States or Europe, which is a medium roast line which highlights in its flavor and aroma some notes of chocolate and or floral notes. These are delicious notes that it really has coffee, but after 100 years of being coffee farmers we had never understood it. Until now we are understanding it. We have been coffee producers for many years, but very few have learned what coffee really tastes like. That is a task and a responsibility what we have to tell our own neighbors in Cauca and also in Colombia about how to drink coffee correctly. Se debe aprender a tomar café.